Angelo here. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome back viewers of my stream. For the last, I would say, four to five days, I have been going absolutely insane. I was trying to play Resident Evil 5, and then I'm sure some of you might have had this problem already where you would go here, and then basically what would happen is you would find ways and you would double click on it and it wouldn't it would get here it would say running and that was it it would just die off it wouldn't work anymore so basically you would get this type of error if you did everything that you saw in the overall videos and you would check out all the discussion forums they would tell you to do the dx uh what was it called the uh, dx uh um diag oh yeah dx diag and then you would get something like this and basically you would go through it and you would just check all the pages. You would see no problems found. And then you would also start going insane as well. Um, this is over my loadout and how everything worked. You would get this. You print out the thing. It would tell you what your problems were. App crash, this and that. Um, and I tried it all. I, I went through. I did everything that they said. I went to HDMI only, DVI only. Uh, I do use a two monitor setup. Um, so I switch to just single monitor. Same thing happened. You would constantly load up, and then the game would just crash on you over and over again. Uh, as you can see, I tried multiple times, and same thing happened. It only lasts a couple seconds. Black screen, not uh, not working. So the only thing I found out after yet, you, you know, <laughs> three, about four days worth of me just constantly getting angry about this, and then that's when I realized that you know, when you really just want to play one game. And you can't play that one game, then you start getting really angry. So, <laughs> it wasn't a good time for me to game, stream, or do anything like that. So, now that I finally kind of figured it out, I will go through here and kind of show you what I pretty much did. I went here to the Windows settings after I read enough different files because I found out that I could run the game if I went to the beta, the uh, games for Windows Live. And uh, I've uninstalled, reinstalled, did all that stuff, rebooted, checked my um, graphics drivers. And then finally, the only thing that finally worked was when I went to here. Because I noticed that it specifically happened the beginning of this month. And really, the only thing that changed, I thought it could have been maybe the driver. Um, and yeah, the, uh, when I switched back to the games for Windows Live, I had it. It was able to run on the DX10, but not DX9. And when I read everyone else's things, a couple of people did have it like near the end, and they had the same thing I did, but... Other people were saying they can run DX9, but I know the Steam version got rid of DX10, so I was like, what is happening? Then someone said that certain things, it's emulated on DX12 on Windows 10, because that's obviously what I'm running. Uh, I went to Windows Update, you go to View Update, uh, was it View Update History? And when I first looked at this, I noticed that the only things right here that I had at the time prior to this was uh, 9.1. There was an update. Now, this is this, uh, the Windows security. Well, actually, yeah, it's a cumulative uh, update. Um, but then there's another one for security. So then I went here, and I clicked to uninstall updates. And the first one I said, there's two that I had here. One was 9.1, and sadly, I didn't get it. But if you have something like that, if it happened to you recently, I got rid of the most recent one where I started having problems. So I'm not sure which, which one that could fall for you, but like for me, it was the one that was with this. I had two nine ones uh, when it came to like, one was a security update, which I left alone, that's fine. But there was another one that was an update for Microsoft Windows. I clicked on that, I hit the uninstall, let it uninstall, refreshed. Um, after that, it, it booted up, and then I just can go right back into it, hit the button, and it would get to there, and now, here we go. I'm loaded. So if anything, hopefully that'll work out for you guys and then everything works. And yeah, I really do hope you guys the best so that you can be like me and play as characters like Josh and take people to Suplex City. Resident Evil 5. Another thing I was also worried about was the potential of not having any of my save files. But luckily enough for me, um, my Steam version, I backed it all up into the cloud. So... Luckily for me, I'm good to go, and yeah, mercenaries unlocked, all that good stuff. So hopefully this helps you out, guys, and hopefully you guys are able to play just like I'm finally able to play. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you out there, guys. Peace out. Have a good day. See you later.